back with another video, and today we have Dairy Ugger Ksuba 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 That's Dairy Ugger XV. Dairy Uggers. So, That's what I said. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to video number 30. Yay! This is GX 88 Dairy Ugger XV. Dairy Ugers. Dairy Ugger 15 by Tamashi Nations Bandai. Yeah. And this is one of many okay. videos out there right now. I know I'm late to the party, uh, but uh, who cares? Um, so this is the box. Wait, You've wait, probably wait, wait, seen wait. this is like 500 times by now. What are those? What are those? That's the box. Here's the outer sleeve, which is Voltron. Okay, you guys seen that a few hundred times by now. And uh, here we go. Here's the accessories. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool wow, to stand. Fancy. It kind of matches the GX-71 um, Go line. And uh, that's that. Instruction book. Here's the back. Keeping it mint. I didn't open this. There's no reason to. And uh, here are the contents. And uh, here is the Rugger XV. And now um, let's just take it out and put it together because that's what we're going to do. So um, first impressions is uh, it has a lot more detail than the Miracle Productions Voltron. Uh, these cards are shiny. They got a lot of die cast. Uh, they <laughs> did the wheels very well. And let's let's open these wheels up. So here's the car vehicles. Let's put the bags here. Here's the two ships for here. And you know what? Let's just pause the video and go back to all these vehicles unbagged because this is taking way too long. So I'll cut it right there, and uh, let's unbag everything, and then we'll come right back. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, we're back, and we have our formation right here. Okay, so we're ready to form Voltron. I'm going to take my gloves off because there's a lot of, a lot of prying and prodding involved in oh forming God. this robot. So here Are we go. Are those hands? Wow. How's this go? I forget. Okay, open the back here. Flip this out. Oh. Mm -hmm. push this in push this in flip this around flip this back down then flip this or uh, uh what hold on flip this around <laughs> flip this flip this some freaking not flipping around oh here we go Stupid. push it in here and just keep in mind that these leg, uh, the wheels have to be out before you slide this in, and then you push this down to lock in. So here we go. That's for that one. Do it again for this other one. Flip it around. Got to just do this quick, cause I keep forgetting to put that up. Flip it around. Slide it in, and push down. Here we go. These over here. Go like this and push this down and hold the button here to retract the little clip action in here and push it as hard as you can on there. Oh, I think it's on. Good enough. Do the same thing with this one. Push it down. Go like this. Push it on. Okay, it's on. Now this one over here, open these, slide them down. Open this, open this, bring these down. And now the old push on action. Oh, that's on. Wow. That's this one over action. here, push it on. I think it's on. Look at okay, it's on. Push it down, flip this up, push it in. Oh. There you go. Now this one goes on to here. There's a button in the back that you could push in and it brings this clipper in. You see that? Okay. 
Whether you see it or you don't, I'm just putting it on. That's holding on. This one over here, another door. Push it in. Oh, that's not going in. What the heck? Got a problem. Got a problem. It's totally not going in. Okay, pause the video. But we're back. Welcome. We're back. Welcome back. I'm okay, back. so so look at the problem here. Fit. You hear that? So there's something wrong with this. But after I shook it a bit, now the panel just goes straight in. So anyways, let's just assemble this. So as you can see, and you push the button, this clips retract. I'm gonna push it on. And now, uh, let's go to the arms now. Let's put the fists on. Put them onto this one, the red. Push this in. Make sure you put it on straight, because I think these are supposed to clip in one way. And put this on. Clip them in. Yeah, we all know about the rotors falling off. Let's just take them off. Put these on the side. Let's put the, uh, well, let's put the head on first. Open this. Here's the head. Push this on. And then. Just not want to go. Look, it's not even snapping on. We got an issue here. There we go, defective Voltron, as you can see. The chest piece is defective. So, um, okay, so basically I'm gonna have to send for a replacement for this, because this piece came in broken. And I hope no one says like, oh, well you're too, you were too, uh, you weren't gentle enough with the robot. Put this on here. Hey, you know, there was an episode out there where Voltron had to fight without a head. So this is just, it is, it was a kind of lame episode, but uh, let's try it one more time. Can do it? Oh. Freaking piece of crap. Okay, anyways, what I don't like about this figure, aside from the head not si uh, sitting on, nice. is uh, this part is cool. Ways. Um, look, I mean the arms, I can't believe no one has a peeve about this, but look, the arms, come on, dude. Voltron's not supposed to form like this and then have his wrist spin. His whole arm is supposed to be like, like this, okay? that That's just the way it is. That's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, look at this. Oh. What the? Oh, what's going on here? Yeah. I don't know, but I mean, you know, Bandai messed up, okay? Like, whoever's out there reviewing this figure should just admit that Bandai messed up on the arms. They could have done better. They could have made another pivot in here. Uh, you know, to go like this. What is this? Uh, they didn't even have to make the wheels fold in. That's just it's a little... Legs. It's It's an extra thing, but they didn't even have to do that. So here's the wheels Headless folded chicken. in. Headless chicken! Yeah, I'm gonna have to send that away for a replacement for that uh, <laughs> for that uh, waist piece. Okay, so basically, this is how it would look like if the arms were standing straight. And uh, here's the head. There you go. And uh, yeah, quality control, right? Uh, your quality is so much better than Miracle Productions Voltron. Well, guess what? I have 12 Miracle Productions Voltrons, and they're all perfect. And this is my second Dairuger, and it came with a broken piece. So um, that's for that. I hope you enjoyed the review number 30. 30. Yeah. And uh, we'll keep you updated with, um, actually we won't keep you updated. I'm just gonna send away for the replacement part and uh, call it a day. And um, that's it. That's it.